Hi crafty friends, this is Carmen here with Clean Cut Graphics. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to revamp an old sweater, even with a hole in it, with just using scraps of vinyl. Come with me. Okay guys, and for this video to revamp our holy sweater, we are going to need our Cricut Air Explorer 2. We are going to use our light blue holographic from Caesar and we are going to use our silver reflective. I am going to use a weeding tool and scissors, and I'm also going to use a hole puncher to punch out holes in the holographic. All right, guys, let's get to it. All right, guys, I went ahead and loaded my mat with the silver 3M reflective, and we are going to cut our logo out. And for this setting, I used Iron On Plus because it is a little thicker than Caesar Easy Weed. Now that it's done cutting, let's remove that. All right, guys, now that we have cut out our logo, we are going to cut the rest of these sheets and save it for another project because there's still enough space for another one. Don't forget that when cutting your HTV vinyl, most of it, is shiny side down and you mirror. I hold down and pull at an angle. Pull down and pull. down and pull All right. All right, now that we have it all weeded out, this is what it looks like. And we are going to put this aside for when we are ready to press on our sweater. All right, and we have a piece of scrap light blue Caesar holographic that I am going to use 
a hole puncher and make out some holes. And I am going to use these to bedazzle my sweater. Put them down here, and we are just going to randomly put them all over our sweater like this. Um, on the sleeves, anywhere that we find fit. So I'm just going to punch out a whole bunch and we are going to lay them on here and see what we get. I have a feeling this is gonna be super cute. Again, this was just a scrap that I had laying around. punching them out until you think it's enough. We're just gonna fill these up. Once we have filled this up, we are going to go ahead and press it. And just like that, we have all the hole punches we need. Now let's go heat them. All right, guys, we are going to start with putting our press pillow under the hoodie. This press pillow is super important because all the thicker parts of the hoodie will be sinking in to the pillow so that you are able to press in the areas that you want without any issue, any problem at all. Careful because the heat press will be very, very, very hot. Let's give it a quick press. So that is telling me it is too tight. All right, so what I just did right there was I pre-pressed it with the pillow and the thickness of the hoodie. Um, it's saying that this is way too tight. So for those of you that have heat presses with this, this means how to adjust the pressure on your heat press. Remember five, six, seven is a medium press. Eight, nine, 10 is a firm press. So, at seven, I want a firm press. I want to make sure it says eight, eight or nine. There we go, perfect. I am going to press it first, and this one is 350 degrees for 12 seconds. I am also going to fold it from one side to the other so that could tell me exactly where the middle is. All right, guys, we are going to press the silver reflective on the hoodie. Um, this one in particular is 350 degrees, 10 to 12 seconds. I'm gonna press it a little bit because I still have to put the holographic on top of that one. And I don't want this to shrink. All right, and the reflective is a cold peel. So we're gonna wait for that to cool off. And then we are going to remove the carrier sheet. Oh, here we go. Look at All right, now for the fun part, we are going to add, I'm gonna cover the little hole here that I have, but we are going to add these cute little polka dot, the little cutouts that we did, the polka dots of the holographic 
going to put some there. Kind of just sprinkle them around in a cute little matter. I put them all over. Just kind of go with what you feel at the moment. There's no right or wrong way. And who doesn't love sparkles? Right? And we're kind of sort of. And for holographic, it's 320 degrees. So we are now going to bring this down to 320 for 20 seconds. And this is also a firm press, so we are going to leave our knob where it's at. There we go. Now that I am happy with what I see there, I am going to grab my press pillow, bring it forward, and then we're just gonna wait for the temperature to go down, and then we are going to press it. All right, guys, now that we have our heat press ready to go, we are going to press the holographic. All right, now, uh, holographic is also a cold peel, but look at how nice that looks. How nice does that look? What I'm going to do is take it out of there so it can cool down better. What I am also going to do is add just a few on the sleeves. I'm gonna put too many, just a few. Doesn't have to be too uniform, just random ones. I am going to go ahead and press these again, 320 for 12 seconds. All right, we're gonna flip it back. Add a few more on this side as well. It's very hot, so be careful. Again, just a few. All right, we're gonna go ahead and press that. And we're gonna do the same on the other sleeve. There we go. All right guys, and that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching today's video on how to use Caesar Holographic and Silver Reflective. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for future videos like this one. See you guys next time.